Good evening and welcome to our concert. Thank you for coming out. I know it's kind of a cold and dreary night, but we have a lot of exciting things to present for you. This is going to be kind of a new experience along with the whole format of how we're doing the concert. But tonight we also have the musical theater class, which is a brand new program at Brookfield High School, and they'll be on the stage. So there's gonna be a little bit of a transition. I promise you this is not a five hour production. Uh, we have about 20 minutes with choir and about 30 minutes with uh, the folks in musical theater. So we're going to begin with the choir tonight. And even though these children are small in numbers, they have a pretty mighty sound, and I'm extremely, extremely impressed with them. Because of where we are in the school year, we always start with the national anthem. It's one of those songs that helps us to work on part building and really listening to each other. So I would invite you right now to stand as we sing the national anthem. For next number, I'm excited to bring some soloists up. And it's always a little nerve wracking as you do your first solo of the year. And for some, it's their first solos period. And for some, it's their first solos period and they are here filling in because we have to give our volleyball team a huge round of applause because they're in districts. So tonight, since Kate had to be with volleyball, Mina Williams stepped in, and this is a huge thing to step in last minute and sing a solo at the concert. So I'm excited to bring these kids forward. Be thou my vision. Oh, Lord of my heart. 
So this is that fun time of year, you know, where we fight between summer and winter and fall and winter and winter and snow and cold. So this next song is very representative of that. So this is all about the autumn as it gives way to that next lovely season that we all love. So we spent a lot of time working on prettying up the sound, if you will. So now we're going to totally destroy everything that we kind of talked about. Not that it's not pretty. It's just a very different fun, fun song. So we go from bel canto, which is a classical Italian style of what we're doing with vowels and all of that stuff, to I think you'll recognize the songs in this next little medley. And we kind of let it all hang out and just have a good time. So I would encourage you, if you know something in this song, sing along with it. If you feel so uh, like you want to clap or get up and dance or tap your toes, feel free to do whatever you want to do because they just want to have a good time with this one. All right, so we're going to do the fly away home. <clears throat>
Before we move on to the music theater, uh, I do want to also recognize a couple of other folks. We have a very special choir member this year who has blown my mind away because his English was very limited when he came. And not only has he been dealing with music that uses those little colloquialisms and dialectic things that we do, especially in Northeast Missouri, he memorized it. And so I want to welcome Asael to the choir and just give him a huge round of applause. Very proud of you. And as always, we can't do this without Mrs. Eric. She's beyond words. So would you just give her a huge round, please? All right, so now I know some of you are wondering, because it looks like under these robes there are some funny looking things. So we have a lot of costuming that had to happen between this performance and the next one, and we didn't want to keep you here long, so I'm not going to talk. But what we are going to do is I'm going to dismiss the musical theater people backstage so that you can Get your robes off. And choir folks, you may have a seat on the risers. I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fights historical from Marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted too with matters mathematical. I understand equations both the simple and quadratical. A binomial theorem, I'm teeming with a lot of news. With many cheerful 
facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many triple facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many triple facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many triple facts about the square of the hypotenuse. I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of being then immaculate. In short, it matters that you double then I'm more than mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. In short, it matters that you double. I know our mythic history reeking Arthur's intercardinox. I've entered hard acrostics, I've a pretty taste for paradox. I quote an elegy, I've solved the crimes of helio goblin loops and conics. I can quote regularities for Robin's. I can tell them that Raphael's from Jared Dosen's Zophanies. I know the croaking chorus from the frogs of Aristophanes. Then I can hum a fugue of which I've heard the music stand up for. And whistle all the airs from that infernal nonsense pinafore. And whistle all the airs from that infernal nonsense yeah, pinafore. I can write a washing bill in Babylonic cuneiform and tell you every detail of Karakatus's uniform. In short, in matters vegetable, then I'm a mineral. I am a very model of a modern major general. In short, in matters vegetable, and I'm a mineral. He is a very model of a modern major general. In fact, when I know what is meant by mammalon and rather than. When I can tell a sight of Mauser rifle from a javelin, when such affairs are sorties and surprises, I'm more wary at. And when I know precisely what is meant by no, When I have learned what progress has been made in modern gunnery, when I know more of tactics than a novice in a nunnery, of short, when I've a smattering of elemental strategy. Wait, wait. You'll say a better major general has never sat at you. You'll say a better major general has never sat at you. Say a better major general has never sat at you. Say a better major general has never sat at you. Sat at you. For my military knowledge, though I'm plucky and adventury, has only been brought down to the beginning of a century. But still, it matters vegetable, and I'm a living or I'm a very model of a modern major general.
sometimes I'm right and sometimes I'm wrong, but he doesn't care. Sometimes I'm down and sometimes I'm up, but he follows around like some droopy-eyed pup. He loves me so, that funny honey of mine. He ain't no chic, that's no great physique, and the some of its parts and if you knew him like me I know you'd agree what if the world slandered my name why'd he be right there suits me fine. That sunny, honey, funny, happy of mine. <laughs>
Now, the teacher had to disrupt the entire performance because we changed pianos and I forgot to look at how to do the transpose. And so we need to take this next number up a step. So if you give me just one moment, I've got to find the right button. We got it. Thank you.
Dr. Wiggins has been the, the man. He's been the man. He has worked really hard for us every day of his life. He spends days, time after school with us. He fell off the stage, had a concussion, and still apologized for ruining our rehearsal. Over and over and over again. <laughs> so we thought we would be super generous. And we ordered you this candy bouquet. You're welcome. We love you so much. And please never fall off the stage again, because I'll try to scare you. I told you so. You did. <laughs> well, I have to say, um, this was kind of a brainchild. Last year, Matt and I were talking about this. Sorry, I've got to close here. Something. Please no. don't do that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so last fall, Matt and I kind of talked about the idea of developing a music theater class because we had a great time with the Charlie Brown show. And so through the COVID time, they gave me extra time to work on things, but little did I know what a great class I'd have. I mean, these guys are absolutely phenomenal. So I have to throw a shout out to Reed Larson because Reed's not actually in our class, but Reed took on a solo because we had a young student that had to have oral surgery. And so Reed is taking this on and also took a couple of other parts on. So I want to give Reed a huge, huge round of As well, I also want to thank Mr. Anderson for all the extra time and Brittany for letting me strangle her here. So Mr. Anderson, would you give him a big round of applause? My wife can never get out of things, so obviously I don't sew. So she started with, you know, doing a couple of things there, brought her over to rehearsal just to kind of watch some things. So she ended up volunteering to help out with some sound. So would you give my wife a round of applause? Yeah! Woo! Yeah! And certainly last but not least is our wonderful principal, who not only is here tonight, but also is the videographer for the live stream. So would you give there Mr. You Thudium a huge round of applause? 
And ladies and gentlemen, just let me say thank you so much for allowing me to have the opportunity to work with these guys and these guys. The talent is absolutely incredible here at Brookfield High School. And it is because of the amazing support that they have at home. So God bless you. Have a safe travel home tonight. Stay safe with the COVID season. And we look forward to seeing you at our Christmas concert.